A collection of atoms which are similar in some ways. Oh, my life I has to fight. And ensemble. Quantum mechanics deals with ensembles. These may be defined by fixing one quantity, such as energy, to have some definite value. While other parameters vary over a range of values, as required by the uncertainty principle. When we speak of averages or probability in quantum mechanics, we're usually referring to something that can be measured by taking an average over the members of an ensemble consisting of many copies of the atom in question. And here's what I'm gonna add at that moment in time. It is often easy to do because many experiments deal with a collection of atoms such as gas. These are real ensembles because the atoms in the collections are real. Sometimes though, the ensemble exists only in the theorist's imagination. It is normal to explain the results of averaging over many copies of an individual system in terms of the properties of those individual systems. However, in quantum mechanics, it is often the other way around. The property of individual atoms will be explained in terms of averages over many atoms. But how can the collective determine the individual? These kinds of cases are at the heart of what is most mysterious about the quantum mechanics. One of the individual properties that quantum mechanics can discuss is the energy of an atom or molecule. It turns out that in quantum mechanics, the energies of many systems come in certain distributed values called the spectrum. The spectrum is a property of individual atoms as it can be observed in experiments involving this molecule. It deserves a full stop here. The spectrum is what we see in points of times of measurement. But you can also see the, the spectrum over time. And uh, it can denote uh, a signature uh, that gives context to uh, how a particular factor is changing over time. Um, and likely what you'll see is that these moments of time reveal like various changes in the spectrum. And one can look at the spectrum as a measure of growth. And if we are on the same standard of growth, uh, and if we consider pi,